Today's the day. Today's the day these headlights go from chrome to black. Just by doing a quick inspection, I did install this lip kit and it looks like a couple of the bolts that I put on there, the screws, actually went into the, the plastic trim piece right here. So it's going to be a little bit more fun than uh, the normal. So we'll see how long it takes me to go ahead and remove the bumper first. From what it looks like, there's a few at the bottom of the clips that I had to remove. There's one right there. And sure enough, there are. There's a bolt, bolt, clip. So there looks like it's a combination of bolts and clips that I'm going to have to remove before we get to the headlamp assembly. All right, so everything's been removed. Up top, there were three clips. Uh, six bolts. Might as well just go ahead and remove this piece. Didn't even see that was coming off. At the bottom there were nine clips and two additional ones right here. So there we go, that just snapped off. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do that on the other side. I did not apply a lot of pressure to tell you the truth. Just a little bit. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna put this down now and try to wiggle it off, make sure there's nothing extra that I need to take off. Before I continue any further, I just want to show you guys, after you start pulling this part, it just, it's on clips, so it just pops out pretty easily. So I'm about to repeat the same procedure on the other side, and it should come off. I'm probably going to have to disconnect these lights once I have everything off. Okay, as you can see, the bumper's off. Like I said, there is a headlight right here that I'm gonna, or the little the lamp that I'm gonna have to disconnect real quick on both sides. Right, so the front bumper is off. This piece that I was showing you earlier has just a little clip. I just unclipped it pretty easy and then took the turn signal out. For the headlights, it looks like that right there. That's it right there. Not sure if we're going to have to remove this little clip. Maybe. Looks like two bolts right here. I don't see anything underneath. But I do see that one right there. And this one right here. And I think that'll pop out as soon as we remove that. Okay, so you do have to pop this little clip out. And this clip out up here in order to continue on. As soon as you do, this whole thing comes off. And pretty much the rest of the screws that I was talking about are the ones that you need to remove. All right, just looking at it right now, looks like that piece just slid in there and there's nothing else holding it. So I should be able to just remove it after I unplug the, the bulbs. So this one's coming out to be quite a pain. But I think I'm going to try to do this with a screwdriver to remove that one. So just like I expected, you just push on this with a screwdriver flat head and it'll start sliding out and it just pops out. And that's it. There's no other wiring. All the rest of the wiring come out with the headlamp assembly right here. So now it's time to do the same thing on the other side. So the driver's side, little bottom plastic piece right here has this little, I'm not sure, maybe a sensor or something, uh, that's plugged in, so you can just remove that clip real easy, and it just pops out. And there we go. I think this is the easy part. <laughs> easy part is over. Everything's out. There we go, the headlights are out. And time to start taking apart the headlights. So... I'm going to follow the same procedure as everybody else does. I'm going to bake them, but uh, I'll show you guys the entire process. Okay, so to remove everything, it looks like we're going to have to remove this bulb first, the wiring around it, coming all the way to these two. So once we have all of this stuff removed, uh, then we can remove the bulbs. And looks like there's a screw right here to remove this portion. I think that should be it as far as what we need to remove 
to get all the bulbs and everything out. Looks like all these little small screws that go around. There. Yep, there. Pretty much everywhere around the bulb. So we'll get all that stuff disconnected. And then at that point, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll bake them. As you can see, harness is off. Pretty simple. I went ahead and removed all the screws. I Pretty sure I have to remove that one too. Not sure if I have to touch this or not. We'll see. But uh same time, I think I'm gonna have to pop these rubber pieces off. Can't really bake them. Yeah, pretty simple. You can see I just did it with one hand. So we'll do that on both, remove that screw, and continue on. So next, now that I have everything removed. I'm gonna carefully take these clips, just pop them back a little bit. We'll see how easy it goes. Maybe I don't even have to bake it, but I'm pretty sure I do. If I do, it's 210. Bake it for 15 minutes, and that's it. Um, here we go, the headlight is in. So now it's time to do the scariest part of this whole thing. All right, so what are we gonna do? Bake. Two, 10. So it's gonna preheat for five minutes. I'm just gonna leave it in there like that. Let's see if the, uh, I think my light works. No. But uh, I'll leave it in there for five minutes while it's preheating. And then I'm gonna leave it in there for an additional 15 minutes. I'll check on it a couple times to make sure there's nothing crazy going on. I don't have to buy a new headlight. Uh, scary, scary. So while that's doing his thing, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna start working on the second portion of this. So after a very nerve wracking experience, um, it does come off. It took about 10 minutes after it was preheated. So. Well, actually, I'm sorry, the total length of time. So I put it in there, put it in there for 10 minutes total. Preheating took five minutes plus an additional five minutes. And uh, started pulling it apart and it came off. It is hot, so you're, gonna, <laughs> you're definitely gonna need some gloves. But uh, yeah, the tape is extremely stretchy. I started off with this portion right here and once that started coming apart, I just kept going down. And finally ended up with the piece closest to the marker right there. So that's it. Now it's time for the second one. What it looks like, I think I'm just gonna paint this entire piece on the inside. There were three screws. One right there, one right there, and one right there. So once those three were removed, Grab this slowly. I don't think I can hold the camera in this at the same time, but it really does come off easily with two hands. <laughs> there it is. It came off real easy. You just needed that second hand to help wedge one piece out. But I think I'm gonna paint everything, including the side marker. So everything should be nice and black. The other one is almost done. I can't wait to see what happens there. <laughs> that one is still baking. As you can see, I went ahead and removed all this extra glue. It comes off real easy. You just need to get one little piece. And as you can see, I removed pretty much 100% of it. So now I'm just gonna add the new tape the rubber that goes around it. After I paint it, of course, pop it back in, reassemble it, and reassemble it onto the car. Whew. Man, that takes some effort, but the other one's off. So now, again, I'm just going around and pulling this out. So, trying to get everything. As you can see, it goes all the way around. One portion I'm already done with. So, I'm just gonna continue this on very carefully get the rest of it out and then it's time to paint 
Okay, so I went ahead and removed this little reflector. Make sure that you don't snap these, but they're a pain to get out. So I used some needle nose pliers, squeezed them gently, and I was able to remove them. So I'm not going to be painting this part, but the rest of this will be painted black. So now I just got to do this on the other side and hopefully I don't break anything. Now it's time to sand this. So I got some 400 wet sanded. Got some steel wool for those just pain in the ass parts. And just some black paint. Alright, now that I've scuffed everything enough, as you can see, I mean, it's uh, actually still reflective on camera. There we go, you can zoom in. I went ahead and cleaned it with Prepol after I finished everything. And now I'm gonna primer and paint. So those are the two next steps and then I'll let it dry a little bit and then reassemble. So I applied the primer to everything. There it is right there. And I actually did the first coat on this one as well. So now it's time to do the first coat on these auto pieces and start with the second coat on uh, this one. And then I think I'm going to do either two or three coats. We'll see. So all the pieces have been painted. I did three coats, three relatively light coats. And as you can see, everything came out pretty nice. I'm just going to let them dry and put them back together. And I really hope that once I'm especially putting in the side markers into there and the little C uh, reflector that this stuff doesn't scratch. I reinstalled the side markers and this little C reflector. Thankfully I did not scratch anything, man, but that was... I don't want to push on, especially the side markers right there, too much. But yeah, I think it came out great. And here's the other one. Same thing. Installed both of them. Like I said, came out looking really good. Now the other portion, time to put it back in all together. So after some careful maneuvering, the first one is back in its case. Now just time to reassembled this. I did put some new rubber sealant around it so this one seems a little bit more difficult to work with so I think I'm gonna preheat it a little bit with my heat gun and then try to push it back in there. Back together everything is hell of a lot harder than taking it apart. You gotta line everything up I think the kind of glue that I got was just a little bit too thick. So I actually had to bake them again in order to soften the glue just so I could go ahead and push them together. Also, just a little tip. Start off with this edge. Line everything up here. And then continue up to that edge. It'll be a lot easier. Found that out the hard way. So yeah, so one's down. I just got to put together one more and time to install well there we go that's what it let me pick this up real quick that's what it looks like finished product so it looks pretty good so we'll see what it looks like on the car and after about eight hours of doing this it's finally done so i'm really happy with the results if I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> but that's why you do these things one time and be done with it. There we go. Completely done. I'm just kidding. I really do like the results. I probably would do it again. <laughs>